Hey folks, I'm Daniel Roth, a program manager on the ASP.NET team, and we're going to take a look at speeding up our Blazor WebAssembly apps using WebAssembly ahead of time compilation in .NET 6. This picture fixer app is a basic image editing app implemented in Blazor WebAssembly. For example, let's see here, let's take this tennis player and let's see if we can get rid of this tennis ball. We're just going to select it and then the image editing tool removes the tennis ball from the image. This is a simple patch match algorithm that's implemented completely in C sharp code. This is the implementation over here. Uh, it's all C sharp and it was a community member implementation implemented by, by this fine community member there. Thank you for your contributions. Let's see if we can do something a little bit more ambitious. Let's try and remove this entire logo right here. There we go. Going, going, and almost, and gone. Yeah, so it, that that worked. Some little artifacts there. Those are just artifacts from the uh, specific patch match algorithm. But it did take a little bit of time, you know, five, almost six seconds. Um, why is that? Well, Blazor WebAssembly apps by default run on a WebAssembly implementation of a .NET runtime that is doing .NET IL interpretation. It's interpreting your code on the fly. It doesn't have any JIT support, you know, just in time compilation support. So for CPU intensive tasks like this, it can be a little bit slower. It's perfectly fine for most UI tasks, but if we're doing something CPU intensive like this, uh, we might wanna try and speed things up. And we can do that in .NET 6, thanks to the new support for uh, WebAssembly ahead of time compilation. Now to set up WebAssembly ahead of time compilation for this app, we first need to install the .NET WebAssembly build tools. You can do that using Visual Studio. Uh, just make sure you've got this checkbox checked. And then if we go back to our app, we just need to turn it on in our WebAssembly project by setting run AOT compilation to true. Uh, once we've got that, when we publish this application, uh, it will be ahead of time compiled to WebAssembly. The compilation can take a little bit of time. I think for this app, it takes about 10 minutes. So that's why it's not done in every single build. Uh, it's more of a publish time optimization. All right, so we can just take our Blazor WebAssembly app and we publish it. Now, as you can see, I've already done that previously to, to save us a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and run the published version of the app. There you go. And we'll grab the URL and let's see if it's any better. All right, so if we now go to the ahead of time compiled version, let's go back to our tennis player. Let's see if it's still working. Can we get rid of the ball? Yeah, oh well, yeah, there it goes. And then if we do this whole logo right here, boom, yeah, that took only 0.3 seconds, much, much faster. So in .NET 6, we now have support for WebAssembly ahead of time compilation, which makes your Blazor WebAssembly apps much more performant. .NET WebAssembly ahead of time compilation enables many new scenarios for Blazor WebAssembly apps. Be sure to check it out and many other new features for .NET web developers in .NET 6.